I got the invitation to come here. I saw that the luncheon, which I'm very much looking forward to, would feature Bill Walton, and it just entitles him Basketball Legend, which is a great title. Um, and then Cliff was introduced today as Radio Legend. So someday I want to be known as the Elected Official Panel Legend. <laughs> You know, much of what we do is about building coalitions. I had the good fortune last week of going to Washington, D.C. with the San Diego Chamber of Commerce, but it was a regional event that included, I think, eight members of the Tijuana City Council, and together we went to Diane Feinstein's office, the Secretary of Labor's office, many other offices, and really tried to get, and I think we're fairly successful, in bringing back some of the goods to San Diego. We, we pay much more in than we get back, so it's time to get our fair share. So, so the trip was important. Daily, when I'm working in Sacramento, I think it's critical that we forge bipartisan partnerships there. We're so partisan, it's just not good for the state. Um, I have probably more bills done jointly and co-authorship with my Republican colleagues than almost any other assembly member. I really think that's the way we get things done. Um, in one of my bills, um, I am a co-author, the only San Diego co-author on a bill AB 900. What AB 900 does is it allows the governor to pick 10 projects around the state, projects that are over a million dollars, I've over a hundred million dollars in total expenditure, and allow those projects to have kind of a streamlined CEQA process. So that within 170 days, most litigation would be completed if there's environmental <coughs> litigation. It doesn't, it doesn't waive any CEQA requirements, but it's a streamlined litigation process. This will mean projects like a San Diego Convention Center expansion, or a Charger, or other kind of sports stadium, or any other major projects will much more quickly pro proceed through the, the process and will attract more money because people won't have to worry about long delays. So AB 900, a very important bill, San Diego will certainly get a couple or a few of those projects. Um, my, I chair a select committee called the Committee on San Diego Trade, Tourism, and Job Creation. The title tells you what we do. We've already convened one meeting of local business leaders. We've got another meeting coming up. But my main, my main chair is the higher ed chair, and higher ed is my passion. Worked for 26 years at San Diego State. I see Norm Hernandez here from Southwestern College, and, and Mayor Cox is here. And together, working with them, we're hoping to do a lot of good things with South Bay education to increase access and expand opportunity for all the region's children. Uh, one thing, I, I've got several bills, I won't have time to mention them all now. No, you one, don't. <laughs> <laughs> one, one bill you've heard about is the bill to try to put a university in Chula Vista, Mayor Patterson's.